ever since this entire situation happened, I've been seeing all kinds of stuff on TikTok. People talking about no contact rules, what your ex is thinking at this point, and when and why, and the other videos describing, you know, about how we should keep our heads up and keep things pushing. I'm gonna be completely honest here. A lot of that doesn't really make sense to me at all. I mean, yeah, you want to stay positive, keep going and do what's best for you. But a lot of that stuff makes no sense to me. The stuff that makes no sense to me are all of these messages about how, how to behave during a no contact, what the other is thinking, how to get your ex back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That doesn't make any sense to me. I get it if you completely mess things up in a relationship and you were the one that was cut off. I get it from that perspective. But what I don't understand is why would you break things off with someone who was that abusive and that terrible to you just for them to come around, you know, come back around the block. You know what I've learned from this experience? I was the one that allowed that man to come back around the block. Whether or not he really did love me isn't the real question here. He didn't respect and love me the way I deserved. And I know that he is incapable of loving and respecting me in a way that I deserved. Me taking him back all those times made it to where he didn't even take me seriously anymore. The more I took him back, the less he respected me as a partner. I learned that going back to that is never going to turn into what I hope for. And quite frankly, I'm not sitting here hoping for it. 